but this is a terrace that uh, uh, has been uh, contour listed. You can see how it's filled in. Uh, but nonetheless, it's, it's starting to do its job. Got a long way to go. It's still pretty dry to be sure. Uh, this is a picture from 38 in the Guyman, Oklahoma area, but you can see this out uh, in Colorado uh, to be sure. But it takes time. Uh, it, nothing happens instantly overnight. And just look at this, back of county. You've got about a million acres as late as 37, right on the edge when the range is going to start to return just a tad. Uh, a million acres, uh, there was serious uh, uh, erosion, about 74 percent of the county, you know, the 20 percent, 29 percent slight, one and a half, 1.6 million acres in the county. The 96 percent highly erodible, the whole county is capable of blowing away, it seems like, and many people I think probably thought uh, that it was. Okay. Well, the Soil Conservation Service makes a dent with expertise and federal money that farmers could get and use and apply and make a difference. The other thing is, the wheat's not growing, your fodder isn't growing either, right? And many people down the plains in the southeast corner of uh, Colorado had some very serious problems feeding their horses and their cattle. Remember, not everybody has uh, tractors yet. Uh, some people are still using uh, uh, horses for, uh, for plowing and, and harvesting and what? So what are you going to do? It's particularly, it's particularly uh, bad when uh, cattlemen simply can't provide the kind of forage and grain, and fodder and nutrition to keep their animals alive. And if anybody's been, if anybody in the agricultural community has been more independent uh, than cattlemen, I don't know who they are. Uh, yeah, right, and some of you, your cabinet, uh, you want everything to go your way, you want help from the federal government with no strings attached, right, and all that super historic characteristic. What Canada did uh, in the 30s was, they said, all right, farmers are getting some help from the federal government uh, through the SDS and some other programmatic activities, we need some help too. And uh, what they asked the government to do is buy cattle. Buy cattle and distribute the beef for, uh, for relief. Uh, it's going to uh, put some money in their pockets, it's going to decrease the number of, of cattle on their property, and it's going to solve some of the drought uh, forage problems that they have. Uh, this is a program that is going to have uh, a significant uh, effect on uh, Colorado uh, farmers in the Dust Bowl. And I know, just got to get the basic idea of what I'm, uh, what I'm uh, showing here. Uh, those, some of those numbers may be uh, too, too small to see. The cattle purchase program goes from June of 30, or from August of 34 in Colorado to June of mid-June of 35. And the, uh, uh, of uh, nearly two million head of cattle in the state, uh, the, the federal government buys, uh, buys a considerable number. You can see the, the head that are purchased uh, in, in these counties. It's sort of the heart of the Dust Bowl of Colorado, uh, a little over 116,000 head uh, bought. But look at that. Oops. Whoa. I got a con on this place. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't type real. Um, I didn't see that either. But a million, uh, 1.6 million dollars, that's a lot of money coming in uh, to, 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 those, uh, to those counties. Here's how it worked. Uh, the government said, okay, We'll put money in to buying cattle. Problem is, not all those cattle are worth packing. And uh, so the only choice is, we'll buy the surplus and we'll destroy what can't, what's not worth being slaughtered and butchered. Uh, we'll take the rest of it and uh, uh, we'll contract with independent packers and we will distribute the, that beef uh, for food relief. And so agents would come out to your farm if you had uh, too many cows you couldn't feed. And the agents would say, that one, that one, that one, uh, got to go, we'll buy this one, we'll buy that one. And you can keep these foundational uh, cattle over here. The idea is, uh, get rid of the cows that are going to die anyway. Uh, take some of those cows uh, that have some ability to feed the hungry people. 
and save the best breeding stock for next year or the year thereafter. And the best thing is it's federal money in people's pockets that they wouldn't have had otherwise. What do you do? Well, this was a pretty inefficient way. Uh, the cattle that weren't um, um, capable of, look at that bony rump up in that cow. Uh, the agent simply shooting them in the barnyard. That was inefficient because when you have a dead cow in your barnyard, then that's kind of hard to get rid of, right? Uh, and uh, that, that's a problem. So uh, the government uh, uh, organized it a little bit differently, and so cattlemen could uh, uh, deliver their cows to shipping points, like Springfield, Lamar, wherever you got a railroad connection, and stockyards. Uh, and the agents would purchase the cattle that they were going to pack and separate those they were going to kill and handle it right there. Look at those bony rumps. Uh, it's hard to say whether those are going to be packed or simply, uh, simply destroyed. 